Banari Amman Institute of Technology, a way of life. With the first ray. Welcome to NDPMS lab. So what we are going to see today is how to extract a painkiller from scorpion venom. Scorpion venom is one of the oldest venom that has been used for research purposes, mostly to create drugs, especially for cancer. So there are 2000 different varieties of scorpions and only 40 are venomous enough to kill a human. Even, uh, even though if it is not, uh, the dosage is not fatal enough, try to consult a doctor if you are bit by a scorpion. Scorpion venom is very expensive. One gallon of scorpion venom costs around 38 million dollars. The very first step in the making of the painkiller is the extraction of the venom from the scorpion. This is how the scorpion venom is extracted. This requires a lot of expertise and has to be done in a safe environment. The next step is the separation of the various proteins in the venom. A saffirex column is used for this purpose. The compounds are separated on the basis of the difference in their molecular sizes. The sample is passed through a saffirex G50 column using astonitrile as, as the mobile phase. There are five different fractions obtained. The next step is the spectrometric analysis. It is done to detect the presence of a specific compound. Using a spectrophotometer, a graph was obtained. The peak value obtained from the result shows the presence of the required
protein fraction was confirmed to be the BMTX3 protein by various techniques such as RT-HPLC and MALDI mass spectrometry. The final purified fraction was formulated as a tablet using microcrystalline cellulose as a binding agent. FDNC blue number 1 colorant was used to dye the tablet formulation.